Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV with me, Get Daved. Uh, off camera, I found an exit for where we finished off last time. There was just a little tiny cavity in a rock face that I snuck through, it was in the top right. And then started walking back, but I thought I'd loop around here. Um, I got a fishing buddy. So a couple people were like, hey, I'd like to see you fish, Get Daved. So, uh, huh. we'll do that for a little bit. Game, you're so bad for that. Now biting. Craig Baramondi. Let's fish. Yeah, so we have a little... Toy shop. We have a little side quest, which is basically... That episode of The Simpsons regarding General Sherman. you like to eat, buddy? Now is a terrible time of day to fish, by the way. Alright. Okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna wreck the line. Come on, in you come. In you come. Don't break my spider silk. Ease off on the reeling. I'm trying. Got it. The prize catch. A Craig Baramundi. David was talking about? Yeah, that's a Craig Baramundi, all right. Hey, we actually caught a real fish, everybody. Good news, everyone. Don't tell me how to live my life. Oh, the line is wearing thin. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, I caught the one fish I was asked to. Also, it's night, and we will be murdered soon. Because that's what happens after 8 p.m. in this game. An ice bomb. We can fish with that too. Well, I'll be darned. You watch your mouth. That's enough sailor talk, fisherman. <laughs> well, a promise is a promise. I caught General Sherman. Promise. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. With that lure, you'll be able to diversify. Reel in more kinds of fish. Yay, diversifying our fishing portfolio. And catching things you ain't caught before. <laughs> End of the day, that's what being an angler is all about. You're still wet behind the ears, but you got potential. Well, we got ourselves a fishing buddy. And one metric crap ton, which is a real unit, of uh, experience points. I kind of want to move it. You're going to try out that lure, right? No. Of course he is. No, we're going to well, die. You guys insist. In that case, you're in charge of finding dinner tonight. Guys, we got to get home. We're in trouble. I'm even ignoring that treasure chest, which is really, really close and tempting. Maybe we'll hit up the campground. We'll give... We'll give Ignis a chance to cook. I think that might be more prudent on the grounds that it's closer. And if that status bar is annoying you, don't worry. Or stamina. It'll disappear on its own. You know, unless I keep sprinting. Okay, we gotta hit up all of these and then we're gonna head to bed. Where it's safe. One sec. Ready for this? Okay. A fiend fit to be eaten. Cooking up a new recipe? 
You'll find out come supper. This is gonna take a while. What? You worried? You wish. Hey! Where'd you learn that one, Noct? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna keep the old... The old dodge on. Start with the children. Keeps being more of them. Alright, team, we're gonna run. Like heroes. Yeah, you know what? We got experience for it, so it was maybe worth it. Oh, really? Very Final Fantasy IV-ish in a way. I don't know what Train does. Oh, no, I don't want to do basic drills or whatever. It could crash right here. You can remain awake long enough to eat. And now, the menu, everybody. This is like our first real camping, I think. The other one was kind of forced. That you like, we, we were supposed to do it and all that. All right. Can make some pretty candwich, delightful. Some pretty good recipes. I'm not sure what ingredients are valuable and which ones aren't. I think we'll have some chili. Yeah, because mystery meat sushi just sounds like we're going to get poisoned. We'll see if uh, Prompto, you know, gets more of a buff from it or something like that. Um, nom, 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 nom. Actually, I'm a big believer in not relying on kidney beans, or at least red kidney beans, if you're going to have some food. All right. Prairie-style skewers. Delightful, everyone. That's actually not a bad picture. Stylish as always. There's our winner. Okay, no, nothing special. Nice shot, Prompto. <laughs> Is that the moment we were running away? I kind of wanted to commemorate that one. All right, we'll get the stupid selfie. That's the winner, everybody. Sure. Maybe the game will do like an Earthbound-like thing where we look through the camera reel at the end of the journey. So, I mean, when you're trying to be efficient about grinding, you want to save up like tens of thousands of experience and then stay at like a times two or a times three in. Ooh. Well, Prompto's feeling good. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. I think we've already had a nice, nice baby reference in this Let's Play already, so that's more than enough. But uh, it did sound like they might have been trying to segue into that. The Calamity. 
Courtesy of Final Fantasy XIV. Alright, fine. I'll take it then. I guess I could have my characters put a jacket on, but, uh, eh. Ugh, it's freezing. You'll catch cold if you don't wear your jacket. I can't tell if that's small talk or, like, genuine gameplay advice. Also, that's not how you catch a cold. Catch the common cold because in winter and during bad weather, people tend to get inside more, and then they're trapped in enclosed spaces with each other. It will be harder on your joints, though. Like that parkour, that's going to make you sore faster. Alright, can we jump the fence with its barbed wire? Alright. <laughs> Alright, fine, we'll go around all the way to this gate. <laughs> Took us a while. This is a side quest with a side quest off of it. On behalf of the locals, I give you my heartfelt thanks. And money. Our birds are at your disposal. You can rent them anytime you like. So I'm paying you. Glad to see y'all made it back in one piece. Thanks, Dave. An amethyst bracelet. Mighty fine hunters, if ever I seen them. Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, Noct! Let's go for a ride! Okay. At Rent a Bird Terminals. Seems reasonable. So, what'll it be today? Grab Greens? Some grub before you go. Grub it is. What can I get you? It seems like I should have one of these on hand. Can do. Like if we oh, can learn how to make that. Hungry. Look out, stomach. I'm not sure if that overwrites the other stuff. I think so. Y'all come back soon. I was secretly hoping Ignis would be like, I know how to blend this stuff up now. Alright, let's learn. Well, howdy. I have a chocobo? I will take one of each, because I have no idea if this stuff's like remotely useful. Y'all come back now. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Chocobo Post. Enter a name for your Chocobo. Well, just like every other veteran Final Fantasy fan, we got to go with Boko for now. I'm not gonna let those jerks in Boko Haram take that from us. Well, you can have a nice, uh, like, silvery one. Oh, no medals. Only the participation award. Pleasure doing business with you. I mean, in a perfect world. All right, do your thing, Prompto. Good call. Now it's picture time. Yay! Uh, let me get this shot. Oh, love the lighting. Yeah, this overcast and rainy day. You actually get okay lighting on overcast days, although usually not when it's actually raining. You see this, Noct? What about it? Chocobo food. Okay. This will really fatten you up. Duh! It's fat chocobo feed. Oh. oh. Fat Chocobos were, I think, introduced in FF4, 
maybe three. At first he could hold your items, but in like FF7, he'd randomly get summoned and would like crush enemies. All right, well, we could go do some fishing there. What we're actually gonna do is just take a quick look at our quest priorities. There they are. Ah, fine. Okay, this is the one I think we're gonna do next. Might be fastest on foot, actually. Maybe we'll take the car to this parking lot. Because while I was running around, Ignis was like, Hey, I always wanted to check out that, them, their meteor. And then right after he was like, but seriously, we should go to Lestalem. I wonder if we have to loop all the way around. Ugh, fine, we'll go right back there and catch those stupid uh, frogs. Ignis? Forget what I was saying. Ah, uh, just a moment. Uh, we had a request. Are we gonna go? All right, I was just waiting for me to hit R2 briefly. So I might be remembering this incorrectly, but we had a request for a FF2 song, so let's track it down. The Rebel Army. There's a couple of arrangements of this on various orchestrated albums as well, so if you like it. It's like a weird combination of like a 1910 Rolls Royce and a muscle car. weather. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, well, we'll be running right back to a treasure spot. I actually found an okay treasure last time, so maybe. Also, you know what? Let's check one quick thing. We have some decent equipment here. Carbon to titanium. It's actually got really high hit points now. Super magic resistance on him. I think we'll take the offense. Which is generally terrible, but I'm not going to get caught up in that. We have pretty good vitality. I was a little worried about defense. I guess we're pretty good. We've got decent physical stats on our hero. Pretty nice view of the slough, all things considered. Not sure if the car meaningfully got us any closer, but it's all right. We had a nice cruise. And in the meantime, we have fantastic elemental resistance. All 
Alright, I hope you all are ready to catch some frogs. Yeah. Temper temper. Is it gonna let us go into the water here? Okay, good. Barely. I wonder if we have to buy towels before we can go sit in the car. Is it a frog? Nope. It's a fancy looking rock. I have no idea what a red frog is gonna look like here. On wood. Be right back. So yeah, we got triggered on that uh, fishing quest. Cause I came here and talked to a certain someone. Man, we got amethyst bracelets coming out the wazoo. I could probably swap out some garnet bracelets on my uh, party members. Truth be told, I'm not paying enough attention for that, though. Come on, frog. Don't make it an awkward ending to this let's play. Take care you don't hurt it. I'm not really sure where we're putting it. This reminds me of an episode of the Amazing Race I saw, and for the record, I've seen like one in my life. Try not to squash it. But people had the choice to do like an endurance test where they would basically stand under a waterfall in like a Shinto style meditation ritual, where there was just like a giant swamp of, of like just solid dirt and mud. Like, it was, yeah, a giant mud pit. He's just over there brooding, okay. And you could just go look for tiny little toy frogs in there. And like, everybody went for the frog thing, and some people were there for like 12 hours. I guess it's like a known quality which would probably have like a fixed amount of time. <laughs> Got it. Versus like rolling the dice. But for me... And looking for something in a mud pit is not my idea of a racing strategy. All right. Okay, one more. Oh, I have you now. Are you going to be really difficult? Nope. Good. Should do it. Ugh. <sighs> All the bounce has gone out of me. Let's present the whole to Sanya. <laughs> the gift of frogs for a lady. Well, there's a first for everything. Yeah, women don't like that sort of thing. I always go the wrong one. Alright, we'll do a quick check on upgrading our stuff. Amethyst bracelet is a straight up an upgrade. And for some reason, I thought I had a bazillion of them. Perhaps not. We're using all of them already. Okay. Seems kind of far away. We'd take the car for that one. We'd take the car for that one. 
Oh, not interested in the suicide mission he's sending me on. Okay, it is a 3,000 experience journey though, so I guess this one was worth it. Alright, well we'll get back to the car, cash it in, and then I think proceed with the main quest. I might do a little bit of side questing off camera, but uh, if they're as fun as the last one we did, we'll be okay cutting it out. Just a mere quarter of a mile to the car. And go! Let's see if we can do it in one minute. Oh boy. Oh, this one's no joke. Yeah. See you later. Well... You know what, we could try it. Alright, let's see if we can take that guy out. Alright, we must spend the fire. Because it's a Gigantoad? I think there's a chance it could be vulnerable to lightning. Okay. There's some things I don't know about how that works. Really? Again? Apparently it emits from you. Whale on it. Don't let him run away. Youch. I'm working on it. Agnes. Everyone regroup. Right here. Yep. Also, apparently the ground electrifies. I know we saw that before, but Jeez Louise. Yeah. Nice guy. Not now looking too good. I'm on my way. Might need to use a Phoenix down. Ready or not. Here I come. Watch yourself, Doc. I know. Thanks for that. Yeah. Here I am. Get back now. Coming up. Okay, I think we got him. Look where you're going. Oh, sorry about that. That's what an A plus for finesse looks like. I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. It was worth it. We did get beaten within an inch of death, but cooking. Mm, quest destination versus car. I guess they're the same pin. I'll take it. All right, if we can do Olympic speed, we should be able to get there in nine seconds. Hit! Looks like the stamina bar doesn't last that long, though. Or at least 40% of it doesn't. All right, to the car and to safety. Next time, everybody.